Hello, welcome to Glider Pro. This is an old game for the Macintosh that I spent a huge amount of my life playing as a teenager, and I think it's about time to revisit it. So it's by John Calhoun, um, of Glider fame. <laughs> there were a few uh, Glider games before this one. This was sort of the biggest and most extensive one. So yeah, I played this probably more than any other game uh, in my youth. It has an extensive room editor. There are like hundreds, probably thousands of custom houses built for it. Houses are the name of the level set. And yeah, this was just my game. This was what I did with my free time uh, when I was younger. So let's look at a demo. Oh, right. This is actually a, a thing I can play. I forgot. <laughs> Whoa, that did not stay up for very long. Right. Sorry. No, this is playing on its own. <laughs> anyway, I'll let this play while I talk about the game. Yeah, so it's not an extremely complicated game. Uh, you play a paper airplane, fly around, um, air vents lift you up, uh, grease, well yeah, basically it's telling you what's going on here. <laughs> uh, I want to actually play this. I can, I can play the demo house myself. How do I, how do I do this? There we go. Uh, load house. That sounds like a great place to start. Demo house. Uh, new game. Welcome to the Demo House. This is a small beginner house that acts as a sort of tutorial. House by Kim Money. There's one star in the house. Get every star to win. That's right. So, ultimate goal in the game is to collect stars. Uh, air vents give you lift, as you can see. Go down there, go up when I'm over it. Stuff like that's just bonus points. Alright. Without grease, you want to avoid shelves. With grease, I can just slide safely on it. I got a battery, I have rubber bands, let's see, how does this work? I can turn around by pressing both directions at once. Rubber bands push me back a little bit and shoot as a projectile. Battery lets me thrust and go fast. That's just ornamental. Alright, uh, I have rubber bands so I can do stuff like that, pop the balloons. I touched one and I died. <laughs> I've not played this game in many years. Uh, let's see if I can remember it at all. Get some altitude, I can turn off the thing, there we go. Be careful of candles, you may get burned. Right, so candles are lift that is dangerous if you get too close to the bottom of it. Go down! Okay. There's not a secret room down here, I don't believe you. Alright, bonuses! I guess this kind of qualifies as a score attack game. There are high scores at the end, and um, bonuses you collect uh, will increase your score. I can figure out how to get that. Uh, one way would probably be with my battery. There we go, that worked. Up, up, up. <laughs> Custom sound effect. Alright. And there's the star. House is done. There we go, that's the demo house. <laughs> this is the end screen you see at the end of each house. Th this game is heavily customizable. You can use all sorts of custom graphics, like that sign, for example, was a custom one, custom sounds, um, custom layouts, just all sorts of stuff. Excellent, that's the extent of the demo house, though. The house Slumberland has over 400 rooms. Good luck. Uh, high score, I'm Alex. Uh, getting number one, high score banner. Your message here sounds like a fine message to me. <laughs> so yeah, each one has a high score table. Uh, you can change that if you get the top, hot top score. See, these are all just local scores, so I won't pay too much attention to them. Um, anyway, so I'm playing the CD-ROM version of a game which came with a bunch of extra houses. These are all well-polished. Um, Slumberland was the original house that came with the game. It's fairly extensive, like it said, over 400 rooms. So I'm not going to get it all done in one sitting, but let's just go ahead and get started. It makes sense of the first one to play. Why did that not show me the uh, the intro banner? I think I'm. I think this is processing my keystrokes a weird way. If I do this, there we go. Welcome to Slumberland, house by John Calhoun, Paul Finn, Ward Hardenstein, C Steve Sullivan. These are names you'll see a lot. <laughs> there are six stars in the house. Get every star to win. So I think the stars basically, like, divide this into sections. 
so this is this uses mostly the default uh, stuff from the editor. Like this this room graphic is custom, but everything else you're seeing up here is just like these are all objects you can place in the editor, and uh, they behave a certain way. Cuckoo clocks are worth a lot. Um, they're the the most valuable of the clocks. I don't know why clocks are the bonus item. Also, there are room titles. This one's called Switch Me. Huh, I switched it. I'm not sure what it did. So thermostats turned up. Right, switches can be connected to anything, anywhere. Right, um, that's connected to the boombox, which turns on or off the music. You'll be hearing this music track a lot because it's the only one in the game. <laughs> uh, that's not, that's, well, that's mostly true. It's the only one in the game unless the house specifically customizes it. And that's a customization beyond um, what is usually done with, uh, with houses. Uh, it actually requires a special, a different version of the game to do that. But there are a few that do it. Uh, yeah, so basically this is just exploration, dodging obstacles, collecting bonuses. Uh, I get a lot of choices here. I flipped a switch. That was my choice. I think I actually want to go down? I don't remember my way through this house extremely well. Whoa, that vent only goes up to there. Ah, the switch turned off the toaster. That's what it did. It's dark. There we go. Up, it says. Uh, okay, I went up. Kinda. Danger. Is that a toggle? No, that's a force on. Okay, yeah. Switches can be toggle, force on, or force off. <laughs> Man, this is all coming back to me. All editor stuff. Stuff like those water drips uh, can be customized with... Man, I'm just talking about the room editor here for some reason. Let me just play the game. I'll show the editor at some point. I spent so much time with it, it's kind of all I'm thinking about now for some reason. Uh, going up. Yes, I am. Okay. Apparently this is the secret agent room. Alright, careful with those switches. Yeah, um... One of these is dangerous. Uh, I think this is, this is like... Yeah, that's what I thought. There's a paper shredder there. Being made of paper, that's very dangerous. So there's no way to know that. That's basically just a trap that's gonna kill you the first time you come through here. That turned off the shredder. Now I can use the light switch, and I'm safer. Which is fine. The life system in here is forgiving enough. The calendar reflects the correct month. That reminds me, there's a house called October Pro, which is a very good, extremely well-polished one that I would like to play. Whoa! Hey, turn that... Ah, I, I hit the switch twice. I need to do this a second time. Alright, bonus room here. That takes me back to Annabelle Lee, which is there. I don't know who Annabelle Lee might be, but that's the name of that room. I guess it's just the room's name. Okay, let's do this again. I accidentally hit a switch twice. I think I want to hit it just once to turn on something. Oh, I think it turns this vent all the way on so I can go in that duct, maybe? Okay, I hit the switch once. If I hear that vroom, or vroom, I can tell it's turned on or off something that is visible. Uh, a, a vent, specifically. Um, so the sound cue tells me that a vent that is within in either this room or one of the eight surrounding it, something was turned on. And yes, it was that. Hey, I got a star. Cool. <laughs> well, that just came out of nowhere. All right. Where am I? Uh, where am I? I'm somewhere. What if I go out the window? Will that take me back to where I want to be? Big mistake. Guess where you're going. Am I going back? I actually want to go back. Dirty laundry. Neighbors. Yes, this is where I want to be. Alright, so you've seen the battery and the rubber band. I guess I'm out of battery somehow. Uh, or maybe I never picked one up in this house. Aluminum foil is the third power-up. So this actually gives me a little bit of immunity to stuff. Like, I can I can take a few hits from the drip before it wears off. Uh, it does wear off, and it doesn't give me immunity to everything, but it's handy, and it changes my impact sound, too. 
Room with a view. Okay, this is where I want to be. Yeah, I went down. Now I'm going to go... Oh, wait, hang on. Oops. There's a shelf there. <laughs> uh, I want to go to the basement and go right. I can't go right. There's a wall there. I didn't notice. <laughs> okay, well, that's the end of that. So houses can be as linear or non-linear as the author wishes to make them. Tight. Right, so I'm going to do this, which turns on that vent over there. Then that turns it off. Okay. That's all fine. In and about. One thing I'm not sure I like is that there's no, um, no visual cue for how high a vent actually goes. You just have to, just have to try and see. They can go all the way up, or not anywhere at all, or they can be on or off. So yeah, air air currents are invisible. Just have to navigate around invisible stuff in this game. So that turned that off. Cool. Yes, but the extra glider. I can get the extra glider. Right, so this is showing the fan for the first time. So I hit the switch, the fan turns on, and it blows me to the left. I can turn it off. No, I can't. That's not a toggle switch. Well, I can do this. Can I go out that window? I don't think I can quite make it there. The fan is a solid object, so it will kill me if I touch it. And if I went out, I would just end up back where I started. Okay, I thought I saw that thing zapping. Alright, basketballs, sync yourselves up. That's why this room is called Synchronicity. Looking glass. Salgnikul. Okay. Uh, dang it. Avoid the mirror, apparently, or it will reverse everything and waste time. Fireplace has an updraft somehow. Uh, sure, I feel up to this. Uh, what is this? I hit a switch. I hit a light switch. Uh, what does that switch do? I hit it an odd number of times, so whatever effect it has is now happening, I guess. Teddy bears often have bonuses on them, so I... I try to touch them when I can. I think... Okay, let's see. That particular kind of switch is off when it's down. I'm going to guess that that's connected to the shredder, so I think the shredder is... Oh, no, that shredder was on. It took away my aluminum foil. I survived because I had the foil. I feel the need to... No, wait, that switch is on... No, wait, right. It's on when it's down. Yeah, okay. Okay. If I had left that switch alone, the shredder would have been off. Oh well, I had foil. And actually, right, the microwave. When I go over the microwave, it takes away a specific set of power-ups. Toaster of certain death. Right, that thing has an invisible trigger in front of it. But I can cleverly, if I'm careful, uh, dodge around it. Although actually... Well, I could do that. I think there's a way to turn it off. What do these do? It turns off the microwave. Okay. I have rubber bands. I can use them to knock over grease and make it safe to pass. Okay. Uh, have I used that thermostat? What does that do? I don't know. I think I used it on my way in. I don't actually remember. All right, so the toaster is permanently off now, so it's safe. Mm -hmm. Switch central. Oh boy, guess what they do? I don't know. I've used all of them. Junk. Uh, one of them is going to be connected to the shredder, so I want it in the off position, which is up for those. Let's just let's just not touch those two. Put them back to the way they were. This should be safe now, I think. Yeah, there we go. Deal with me. Uh, okay. There's a sparkle in the mouse hole. I'm gonna go see what it's about. It's a bonus. Cool. Mystery duct. Yeah, mystery duct. I believe that's a return from somewhere eventually. Maybe. How to tip the grease. Okay, I saw this room from the other end. I've ended up back here, so if I if I shoot carefully, that was not perfect. I'm gonna hit the um I'm gonna hit that thermostat. 
I have a limited number of rubber bands. I don't know how many I have. There's no display. If I shoot this just right, I'm pretty sure... Pretty sure I can hit that. Hmm. Uh, if I aim back, I can sort of aim... Yeah, I can aim up a little bit. Um, oh, right. The way this works is that puts me up there. I do this, I do that, and then I die? What? Oh, I'm supposed to shoot it. Got it. <laughs> All right, well, here's an extra life to make up for that. I'm still at four. There it is, right, the star. Already got it from the other end. Uh, big mistake out the window, that takes me back. Flu flu. I flew into the flu. Fresh air. Head right. What if I don't listen to you? Ah, invisible wall. Fine. And death. Uh-oh. Okay, so that's a death loop. That can happen. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Had to use the battery to get out of that situation. And if I didn't have a battery, I would just be stuck and game over there. Between friends. Updraft. Alright, let's go in here. Paul's room. Paul Finn, perhaps? One of the hold, uh, hold authors. Well, yeah, this is a drawed hold. <laughs> uh, house authors. What does that say? I'm trying to read the handwriting there, but I can't. It's like... Remember to call... Somebody. Okay. I think that's what it says. Wait a minute, that calendar says July. That's the wrong month. That's a custom graphic. A sinking feeling. Okay, let's see. I could go left and do that. Would this set me on fire? No. Blown in the wind. Um... Let's see. That stuff is in the other room, so it's actually safe to go down here. Did that turn on the fan? Probably. Or the downward fan? I, I don't know what that did. <laughs> um, let's go down the thing. I end up here. Okay. All right. Uh, do I want to go left or right? I, I feel like I want to go left. I want a battery through here. That was a rubber band. <laughs> uh, the corner diner. Okay. On a pedestal. Cool. Free stuff. Alright. I'm stocked up. I almost just died. That's fine. I can play the guitar. <laughs> uh, follow the bouncing ball, you say. Is there a bonus down there or something? Nope. Alright, whatever. Wait. Why did that happen? There's a trigger over there. Got it. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a party. With balloons and toast. Sounds like my kind of party. Uh, Grease is on TV, okay. Uh, Alright, this is fine. Oops, that grease does not go all the way to the edge. Whoa! <laughs> Dang it. I could totally get a game over here. I should, um... I should save my game. Whoa. What just happened? That... Okay. My, uh, this is doing weird things to my keyboard input, but that, that did save, I think. Uh, if you restore a saved game... Oh man, that put me here. If you restore a saved game, a uh, high score at the end is impossible. Um, it's only for play playthroughs from the beginning. Live, okay. Uh, tight squeeze. So I probably... let's see. It's likely I'll be splitting this, so I'm probably not going to get a high score at the end. Because uh, I'm going to have to save and quit. That's fine. A lot of houses are short enough to be played in one sitting. Maybe this one is... I, I forget how long this is exactly. Okay. Is this safe? Kinda. Okay, that turned off the outlet. Cool. What does this do? Turns out the lights. Let's not do that. So those other pointier gliders um, 
paper airplane things, um, uh, they just appear and disappear at regular intervals. They're one of three moving enemies. The others are the helicopters and the, um, yeah, those and the balloons. Whoa! Uh, okay, I'll use that battery. Uh, okay, that's fine. Leaving so soon? Well, yes, uh, I want to use that battery to get the extra glider. So batteries can overpower those fans. I see someone's portrait up there. And I got a bonus from the cloud. Who took the mail? Okay, uh, mailboxes can be used for transport. Now I'm in a night world. I uh, can't go that way. I think there's bonuses on the graves, yeah. And just some random spot in the sky. The cloud? No. The tree? Nope. Just the graves. A nice place to visit. Okay. I think I can go the other way too. Yeah, I sure can. Cool. I wonder why the mailbox says Nemo on it. <laughs> Fillet cabinet. Alright, outlet's off. Coffee maker's on, which does nothing. <laughs> I guess it makes coffee. Whoa! Uh, this could be bad. So there's no respawn and vulnerability or anything. Uh, hey, this looks like a shooting gallery. Aw, oh, I only hit the balloon. Oh well, whatever. Caution, hot coals. Those can provide an updraft, though. How do you get out of here? I don't know. Maybe up here? That's a way. Let's go on a trip. Uh, okay. Sure. On the rooftop. Uh, out in the open. I don't think this is set up to, um... I don't think the stars are set up to be missable. Uh, hey, I see an extra life. Cool. A whole bunch of bonuses. Very nice. Can I go up higher? I don't think so. Ah, Cloud Sparkles. Cloud has bonuses. Wrong way. Uh, do I believe you? There was an updraft there. Do I dare? So, like, the vents at this point are just invisible. I kind of just have to guess. Yeah, that's the wrong way. Okay. That cost me a life. Lives are not given out very generously in this uh, house. I almost called it a hold again. <laughs> Welcome to the West Attic. Okay. Uh, zoom. Uh, I'd like that battery. Thank you. Alright, so that did something. One of those turned off an outlet. Uh, that's a... Uh... Oh boy, where am I and what's going on? I want those bands. That was safe, good. Extra life is great. It's very helpful. Okay. Okay. I'm a little disoriented. Is this safe? Yes. Kinda. The fan attic. It's a pun. Kinda. Oh! I caught on fire. Uh, let's go through here again. That's safer. There we go. I know that I'm not doing too well on lives. Uh, I'm gonna die here. I didn't die here yet. <laughs> that was actually safe. Alright, I went out. How do I get out of here? Like this. That works. Welcome to the East Attic. Uh, there we go, that kinda worked. Ah! <laughs> Using my power-ups because I'm putting myself in danger. You found me. Who did I find? Find. Hm. Off to new places. I see a star. Let's get it. Steve's room. Steve Sullivan. Mm -hmm. Oops. Go back. Right. I saw um, uh, the other guy's room. Paul's room. Right. Paul Finn. So I assume there's going to be Ward's room and maybe John's room too. I don't actually remember. Where's Cisco? Does he have a bonus? No. It seems like he would. Let me try that again, just in case I missed. No, no, nothing. Okay. Death becomes you. Uh, has that turned on the fan? Maybe. 
Yes, okay. O okay. Uh, Greece. Here, I can... I can do that. Uh, let's see. I think I need to use a rubber, uh, rubber band battery to get there. So rubber bands can be used for, um, for thrust. If I turn around and do that, it's like a poor man's battery. The Grand Junction, right. Okay, so where does these all go? Yeah, I gotta navigate in the dark. I'm gonna go slow on the grease because I don't know how far it needs to spread or how fast it's gone. That candle does not provide much light. Okay. Ouch. Foil did not protect me there. Okay, there we go. Alright, um... I hope I don't die here. I feel the need to save my game again. Whoa. <laughs> Weird things happen when I do that. Uh, okay. So I think that transport there will take me back to the Grand jun uh, Junction again. Whoa! Or maybe I'll go into the floor and die. Hmm. I have only one life left. That's not... Eh, that's not great. Uh, uh, there's a downdraft there for some reason. I think the waste basket is where I actually need to go. It's sparkly, which tells me to investigate. I'm not ready to, though, yet. Non-gender specific person hole. Whoa, that uh, turns that vent off. Okay, uh, let's go this way. I'm in the sewer for some reason. Hey, extra lives. That's what I need. Uh, ow. Thank you, foil, for protecting me. Uh, can I go down? Maybe like, like this? There we go. The floor. Uh, you're right. I almost died for that clock. Oh boy, right. This whole place is a big maze. Um, do I want to do this? Apparently not. Why is that sparkle if it's... What the heck? Well, that's mean. Okay, so ignore that then. Apartment for rent. I cannot see where this grease is spilling. Ow! Not there, apparently. Lost bear. Uh, bear sparkles, but also does nothing. Hmm. any money to give. I'm just a paper airplane. Catch the wave. What does that mean? Oh, right. This is a balloon dodging room, isn't it? It's just one balloon, though. Pop. Lost bear, too. Do you also sparkle? No. This is the non-sparkly version. I don't know, let's go right, I guess. Uh, these room titles are silly sometimes. Okay, free life. That is exactly what I need. I could use like five more of those. <laughs> Come on down, I could. Won't that just take me to a place I've already been, though? Uh, no. Uh, okay, so, as long as I have that... I'm just gonna wait a moment. I can't see where this is spilling. I wanna make sure it's far enough over. Uh, I think I saw it spill into the vent. Okay, come on down. Uh, no, no, I don't wa want to. Uh, okay. Oh, right. So that's what happens if I go right. I get a free life, which is very much needed. If I go left... Does the lamp do anything? Yes, it has a bonus. Oh, whoa. Unfortunately, I don't get extra lives for, um, for points. I'm very glad I have this foil right now. There's a... Oh man, these are hazardous situations. Uh, let's go this way. 
double drip, okay. Dead end, but it has a clock. Careful. All right, this should be safe. Yep, that has a long delay on it. I think I'm almost done with the sewer maze. Lethal exit. Okay, so that's the exit. What's left? Rubber sole. What could that mean? Damp. Flowers are growing. How nice. That kills me. How rude. Why would you do such a thing? This room has no name. That's not true. <laughs> it's a paradox. <laughs> Just like that one. Uh, uh, stay away from me, fish. I should have just taken the exit. Oh, man. I am... I am worried for my well-being. Okay, uh, this is just going on forever. I should have taken the exit. Why didn't I take the exit? Ah! No! No, no, no! Don't kill me! Okay. Okay. Gotta go. That's part of the exit sequence. Um, I see foil there. I would like it. Uh, okay. When do you drip? Ever? I guess... Takes its time. Uh, what do you mean, arg? Um, oh man. I see that microwave up there. I worry it's gonna take away all my stuff. Uh, the never-ending sewer. Yeah, I, uh, this kind of goes on for a long time. Alright, rubber bands, sure, I'll take them. I'm just going to battery my way through here because I have a feeling I'm going to lose it. I sure did. Okay, so no batteries there. Yeah, I can get a lot of stuff. This might take my foil, too. I would much rather have extra lives than all this stuff, really. Yeah, like, this is kind of a joke because I lose, yeah, rubber bands and foil. Or, sorry, battery and foil. But at least I keep my rubber bands. Yeah. Still only have one life. I don't remember if this is a game where if you lose lives at if you lose a life at one, you game over, or if it's please don't blow me into that, uh, or if it's um, ah, uh, or if it goes down to zero. Why did I not take the exit? <laughs> the way out. Here, have a have a rubber band. Uh, why did I do that? I don't know. For some reason. Oh, cool. Cool, cool. That's what I needed. Very good. Uh, uh, shoot. Ugh. Didn't get to keep it for long. Uh, okay, so this is a sequence of very dangerous bonuses. Uh, 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 okay, I'm fine. Uh, I'm fine. Aw. Oh. <laughs> Uh, no! Uh-oh. I... Oh. <laughs> well, how was I supposed to know any of that? Alright, so I have a saved game from a little bit ago. I guess I can redo some of that stuff. Hmm. I forgot... that this game was structured this specific way. Because when I game over, I start the whole house over entirely. Hmm... Okay, 151 rooms, so that's like uh, a little more than a third of the entire house. Okay, well, that's the first little bit of Slumberland. I guess I'll come back next time, load my saved game, get back to where I was, and pick it up from there and do the rest of the house. I'll see you then.